quand même. Well, I can probably finish the, finish it today or the next next stream, so by Friday. Well, the plan is to have the Empire weakened to where to the point where they look at that they're actually at war with the land. Yeah, nice. Do they like fall below 10k permanently? That's the idea for this playthrough. But that doesn't guarantee I'm gonna install the latest version of the game next. Because I think the... If I'm gonna play the Crusader mod next, I think it's only about version 1.7.0 still. I'll send you the link now. Crusader Kingdoms 1. This one? Yeah, it's still for version 1.7. So I'm not gonna be able to play it on the latest version of the game. down here and then save that. So yeah, since the mod isn't updated, I can't really up update the game at all. Unless the mod gets updated before I start playing it. Okay, this one is going to be a little bit easier. A little bit. Okay, let's place the archers on this side first then. Since we're all over here. These guys, like here. Forward! Go! Forward! We're gonna place the main archers up here. Archers! So they get killed off. I wouldn't be surprised if we can jump up a wall here somewhere. And this is another reason to break down the walls. Look at that, you have a clear shot at most of the enemy troops. Tree here. The other set of infantry. Oh my god, why is it slow down so much? Forward. Forward. 
At least they said they fixed this in the latest patch. If you ever go to it. Yeah, there is. Each mod has a load order. But you can check the load order for this one on the Gilded server I am. I did start posting that as well. It's for the follow, Chuck. And Twitch. Oh, you sneaky motherfucker. here I did start adding the load orders because they can get a little bit complicated especially when once you use a multiple multiple mods I'm not gonna get hit by my own trebuchet this time around. You can find the mods into the like below the first category. There's a uh, active and finished. So in the active one for this one. Exactly. That dodge. to attack. What do you mean? It only shows Dark Souls and Tessujin. That's the one I'm actually playing. The other ones are finished. So they're in the finished category below that. Well, Dark Souls, I haven't been. <laughs> the problem with Cinder's mod it gets updated every every couple of months, apparently. And changes everything. So I can't really continue my last playthrough because I want to play the latest version of it. I guess the only other war battle load mod which has the load orders in it is the last one I did, the Viking playthrough. Or Sturgia is Norse playthrough. That's when it became a little bit more complicated. I'm gonna get killed by my own trebuchet, am I? Fourth fall damage. That works as well. 17 kills. Huh? No, I'm not gonna abuse the mod. That would make uh, a too powerful of a companion, whatever I make him. What can't you find in finished? 
I didn't do the temp. What, wh which mod are you trying to find? I didn't play the uh, the Templar one yet. Well, the what's it called? The Crusade one yet. I haven't played that one yet. That's that's gonna be the next one. Of course, there's n you can't find it over there. Let's see if we can get there in time. Once I actually play it, then I'm gonna upload the mod order and everything else that I use for it, and all the mods I use on the on it, and uh, all the links to them and everything else. Well, after the first stream, once I actually see that everything works and gels together. There, it looks like they're already fighting. We'll be able to get there in time. Oh, they fucked up now. I don't think that the uh, Templar Crusader mod has any specific mod order. I think you just need to add one thing in it. And you're basically set. If I remember correctly. Like there's only one module for it. It's not like a Eagle Rising where there's two. Well, where, well there was two. I don't think there's two anymore. The United Empire mod has two modules you need to put into, into, the, into the order. music now. Oh my god, they can't kill one skirmish Roger. So let's, let's spread them out like this. You can find all the load orders on their mod page. But uh, since I use multiple mods, not just that ones, I make a list of all the mods I'm using, then the load order. So, you know how, so I don't need to show you all the time.
kill these guys so they don't waste ammunition. My guys don't waste any ammunition. Oh god damn it. Come on, catch up. There we go. I don't think we have range on them. There's not that many of them left. Okay, now they're moving towards us, finally. Hiding behind a hill. Not oh, very honorable of them. And again, that's what I do with the infantry, right? <laughs> I do still have a hundred cav. Maybe an issue for us. Look at all of that. Looks like our allies actually staying behind for once. Good idea on them. Otherwise they would get wrecked. And you expect these guys with the long weapons to be able to take out enemy cav easily because all of them I think I think the Yari by the Falcon couch. Or not couch, but uh brace to kill the horses. They're running away, but they can't run away fast enough. Like my archers are running out of ammunition.
fuck that. He picked up one arrow and he continued to fire. Do love that feature though. They can actually pick up arrows from the floor. Got some cab in the back, as per usual. And we're running around, wasting our time. Easy peasy. Ooh, we can get some troops. Nice. K or 20k experience that's so much I remember when the game first came out and you couldn't level up your stuff like it would take too long good thing they added that or I thought I'm not sure if those things were actually in the game from the beginning I think where it can give your troops where is that actually Viewership, right. Guard the gear so they level up from it. That's a pretty good addition. I think there are still perks that don't actually work, which is um, amazing two years later. Come on, guys, you can fix that at least. Here we took that. The problem now is that the front is super wide at this point. So let's take the castle over there or Maize Maizea. This year has gone by too fast? What do you mean? We're only in the third month. Probably almost summer. Well, I guess, kind of. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I was 18 yesterday. Now I'm fucking old. Bug me out. Is it besieged again or not? Three months left for summer? You mean three months until summer? Aren't you up in the Nordic countries anyway? Is there actually summer over there? I guess that would be the question, right? warm to you we got uh, we get the uh, in summer we usually get like uh, temperatures up to like 40 C Balkans react to Yugoslavia we get temperatures up like in the mid 40 well 45 46 it's even worse because the uh, like the measurements are being made uh, somewhere up in the mount mountains or in the hills and it's a lot worse on the ground on the cement on the concrete 
Dude, it's really freaking hot here. You prefer 35? <laughs> well, I prefer 20, to be honest. We're not getting that anymore during the summer. Well, the game, let me click on the thing. Oh, here we go. A big battle, maybe. I think they have enough here to attack me. Or not. I prefer no weather at all. What would that be then? Zero degrees. have more than 1500 here what's the problem yeah they're waiting for more reinforcements noise yep I'd call a warm well 20 is the ideal temperature like maybe over 20 during the day and below like 10 or 12 degrees during the night that would be perfect but we can't have that. Okay, 19k versus 15k. Can I win this? Probably. Oh my god. Yeah, I can for sure win this. I can find a good place to camp. How warm does the run get? I mean, we got temperatures up to almost 50 degrees here. So that's fucking awful. I don't think I can skirmish and get these guys to skirmish effectively, effectively on this map. Direct contact with the sun, you get burnt. Well, you should go outside in the sun more, man. You have to get used to it. At least you don't go out drinking. Imagine drinking on like 40 degrees when it's 40 degrees outside. You have to like drink your beer in like two minutes or less, or else it's warm like piss. spelling is fine keep in mind not not even the British folk or the Americans know how to spell even though it's their own native language follow more dogs jeez what's the point of having a dog if you're not gonna walk him on your own man job with cousin cousins i actually don't know how that's spelled <laughs> so fine by me i can still read it but this is why we're gonna win they have, they have a whole lot of shit in their army it's outside like homeless dogs you mean strays or you're a dog rescue operation i guess that big of a dog fan I like cats more they're independent you just give them the food and they do go fuck off and do their own shit 
Much easier to take care of. Dog, you need to like walk two or three, four times a day, depending on which one you got. Oh god, they're gonna retreat all the way and then come back in again. Yeah, it depends on the breed. Yeah, I know. But in general, I see. Cats are much easier. And if you're like gonna get the dog, like get get that like a big fuck off dog, which everything everyone gets scared of. That's my opinion. Like if you're gonna get the dog, get the one that, that's closest to the wolf. My mother got a Stafford, which is uh, not the brightest of ideas when you don't have your own house and you rent. Wait for them to come in closer. Get some dogs like like look like wolves. Well, I mean, if they're strays, they might be in 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 bred between dogs and wolves or something like that. What's the problem there? them just chilling back there mo inching towards us like really really slow damn I hate the air in this game sometimes I still can't get over how stupid this weapon looks I can stick with the blade attached behind it It's nighttime and it's super dark. In game. I mean, it's never really super dark in game. Well, apparently it's night time because we got fire arrows, yep. I didn't tell you to stand like that there. Come on, game. Yeah, well, if it was super dark here, you couldn't see any sh anything. You would need to, like, bring a torch with you and that's not gonna be good because the AI can see no matter how dark it is and you can't it's, this is just ain't the type of game for that so I don't get lanced. What am I gonna do tomorrow? I'll stream DVD in para probably. Other than that, I'm not sure. Depends on when I get up. Yeah. 
Might play some Vermintide. That's usually what I do. I'll play Devide and Tempera or Rome 2, which is on the schedule. Night or 9 p.m. Yeah, I think I'm, I, I'm gonna need to like do the all uh, tactic we did like last time with like waiting for them to cross the like little hill there then attack them. Vermintide 2, Warhammer Vermintide. I'm not gonna stream that though, probably. I do have a bunch of friends and another server I get like people who still play that to play. Yeah, we want to wait for them to they till they cross the hill so we can rush them. Yeah. You have Vermintide or Rome? Um, which one? You wait for them to cross like this, then attack them. I yeah, know you got Rome, you did say that. Did you ever play the DVD Tempera game? The edition doesn't matter, man. Funny that you don't have Warhammer 1, you. I mean, you kind of want to have Rome Warhammer 1 because you did get the Mortal Empires campaign then. You kind of want to play that because it's a lot better than Vortex. Or just Vortex. Warhammer 1, the first game. You can actually play the whole map with all the factions on the, on the campaign map. Funnily enough, it's still full price. Well, I never got it. Well, they did have a discount here and there, but not that big of a discount. Fortunately, I did get. I think I did get both games in uh, on a humble bundle or a discount. Oh no worries, you got time. I mean, you don't have to have it, but I mean. A lot of people just play Mortal Empires these days. No one plays the Vortex campaign, to be honest. I don't like the fact that their archers are all the way in the back. They got like a thousand more troops. Oh, did you get Fall of the Samurai with the Shogun too? Or like... Uh, what was it? Total War Sagas, Fall of the Samurai, whatever they call it nowadays. Come on, cro cross the Rubicon. Come, well, the hill. Okay, that's uh, that's a little bit closer to Empire since it's, uh, it's mostly gunpowder units. Well, you can go on full on Samurai, but um, um, it's a bit harder to manage the windows. Yeah, that's uh, it's all the DLCs, but I don't, I'm not sure if they count the 
all of the samurai as the DLC for Shogun 2 anymore. I think they look at that as the as, as a separate game these days. I don't know, just check if you can, like, you can start up Shogun 2 and check if you can play the fall of the Samurai campaign. If you can, then you got all, everything. If not... Uh... <laughs> then, uh, the Creative Assembly screwed you over, apparently. That's so fucking dumb, why would they do that? Just rename or separate the fall of the, yeah, the expansion from the game? It made no freaking sense at the time. Killed uh, almost all of them, so let's auto resolve the rest. 700 of them still left. E Jesus. Well, we get all the samurai or all the troops back, more or less, so we're good. Let's see which one we want to grab. What on uh, Shogun 2? You can just look at the top mods for Shogun. That's basically it. Radius, Dart mod. Ultimate Realism mod. Some other other ones like that. But you got to learn how to play the base game first, then play the mods because the mods add a whole lot of stuff into the game. Hmm. Question is, do I want to let them like gather up an army to attack me again, or do we want to attack the city immediately? see if they can gather enough to attack me. Probably not. You get artillery in the base game. What do you mean? What do you mean? Well, not that much artillery, but you do get artillery. You get cannons in the full samurai version of the game. You get the... Uh, Cannons is full of the samurai, man. Almost got instantly wrecked. get mortars well do you want to play warhammer or do you want to play uh, shogun 2 well, what's the point then kind of want it to be uh, a little bit immersive realistic
the infantry got peel so let's run away see what's on this side They just wait there and let me kill their friends in front of them. See if I can get up the walls with the horse again. Yeah. Uh, this, this definitely seems like you can't get up the walls on some of the maps, and some of you can't. Some you can't. Let's get off the horse. Be some of them on the second level here? Nope. Unless there's someone fell into the castle. Or in the in between the gates. Let's see. Nope, not this time around. Tell me there's an enemy stuck inside the wall somewhere. Okay, good. Yeah, then we're not gonna ever find a place where we can actually donate prisoners. Let's let one of these go so they chase after the enemy there. Maybe. Come on, come on. Go grab him. Catch him. Never mind, I guess. Okay, this. Let's see if it's actually broken or is it besieged. Ah, uh, I guess I'm gonna get it. So let's dump the prisoners in there, then just give it away to someone else. Look at that. Well, they're at war with two factions because this one doesn't exist. <laughs> Which hopefully the mother is actually fixed at some point. actually besieged I think it's just uh, bugged out at this point 
I do want to let these guys go to let them replenish a little bit. Let's just get a little bit closer to our territory than do that. Okay, looks like it isn't besieged. Good. recruit a little bit well only two guys let's give him a little reading room and I guess let's scout out the garrison sizes of the castles up there I was hoping the Surgeon faction actually took something from them. I think they took this back, actually, so that's good. I was hoping they take this back as well. Okay, 325. But actually, even the Kuzites could have declared war on them and then took some of this stuff. This only has 300. Two, two, th well, 300 as well, I guess you would call that. I'm not, I'm hoping the surgeons take this back, so I'm not going to go up there. Oh, what are you doing over there? She has been fucked. I'm taken prisoner. I need to take that first then. Or no, I could actually... Yeah, I got an idea. Let's go to one of my areas and just uh, recruit another party. Or another commander. Let's see, stewardship, leadership and tactics. So, the sniper. Saigo the sniper is going to be the party leader. Look at that. Hanzo is leading an army of a thousand men. Let's see if he actually does something. It would be nice for a change if I don't have to do everything myself. Almost a thousand defenders in, in here. Jesus Christ. To manage garrison. This will take a bunch of these. Let's take all of them. 40 of these. 60 archers. And that should be enough for the other party. All of these. He should have enough leadership to actually take all that. Yeah, he can hold to on troops.
guess let's now let's give him back a couple of these. Right, maybe I should check all my stuff out. There might be something to build. No, that's gonna give our give time for our guys to actually. Ooh, shit! Where is he? Yeah, I need to talk to him. Uh, let's do assignment for you. Roam the land. Don't bother with anything. Now let's fix up the things here. And he's also doing anything. He's besieging Poros. I guess that would work out for us if he actually succeeds. Succeeds. I don't think. He, I don't think he will. Everything here is pretty much max. doesn't have food apparently well no wonder we have so much garrison in here they can hold any of it or half of it yeah 500 550 fine the garrison the julius joined julius clan so i think those are def defected let's see Or are these just mercenaries? No, it's actually an Empire clan. Check Vostrum, I guess, and that's it. We can go back to sieging settlements. You'll we'll see. Let's, these, let's see if these guys are sure. Could, yeah, they're pretty much top or full. Oh my god, they actually took Poros. Pretty freaking fast as well. 